Hello everybody, my name is Sammy Doxy, and welcome to episode 2 of my podcast, Better Late Than Never. Uh, I'm here right now with my, my beloved guest, Colette McAndrew. Hey, I'm Colette, I like dogs, and I'm a librarian. <laughs> and she likes dogs. Yes. But like, who doesn't like dogs? And that's a real issue. My cat mm. doesn't like dogs. Yeah, well that's cats. I don't like cats though. Let's go way back to, to when we first met. Way back, oh, no. we'll recant our, our experiences together. So, we go to a school where it's got a huge science program. A lot of science extracurriculars. So, we were, um, uh, we were at a camp in the summer where we worked, and we worked on a two-week project-based learning pre-camp for the school year. And we had a project together where we like did something with the echoing. Isn't that what we did like in the auditorium freshman year? Yeah. Yes, we did. With, uh, I'm not gonna say your name. Uh, it was somebody else. So that was fun. And I uh, I missed the last day, sadly. Why did you miss the last day? So I had uh, I had Asian camp. <laughs> I have pictures. Yeah. Uh, anyways, and then I didn't talk to you for two years. We got camp together. With uh, Mrs. P, shout out to Mrs. P. <laughs> Big fan of my podcast. <laughs> Flaming hands. Oh, yeah. I. We well, so yeah we have we're in the same chem class. We've got a a great teacher. So great. She's really a lot of fun. And um, you know, we bond over struggling of how to <laughs> do the general concepts, but uh, we're getting we're getting there. We're better than some. Yeah, doesn't take much. Thank you. <laughs> the dog just licked my knee. I think the worst thing about the school is the students. I don't mind the teachers, but I'll get to that in a second. The, um, I think the student body is kind of the worst. And it could be like a just general students. Like, yeah. Like, it, I don't think it's just the kids who go to our school. I think it's people who go to other schools. Yeah. But on the first, like the first week of school, you sign a student handbook that says you don't text in class. You don't smoke, drink, <laughs> vape, vape at our school, you know, and you had to be respectful of the teachers, but yet these kids can't figure out how to do it. Yep. And Especially it, the, the freshman class. Uh, yeah, we're juniors. Yeah, for context. Because we're so cool and upperclassmen. We're really cool. Oh, uh, the coolest. But, um, no, it's, a. Uh, the thing is that, like, these kids, like, first off, they they get they acquire vapes you know somehow I don't know I don't Vape know paraphernalia <laughs> yeah I don't know how they do it and then what they'll do is that they'll pass it around the back of the class and then they'll like take a little puff of it like breathe it out like really fast and then or like put it in their sweatshirt it's yep like, yep and it's not like they're getting high or anything it's just kind of like a little puff of them just saying I'm an asshole. <laughs> And, Except, they, and they act like we can't see them. And they act like, oh, the, the classroom naturally smells like cotton candy. <laughs> and the classroom is naturally covered in smoke. Like, like a little bit cloudy. Yeah. You see a little precipitation, a <laughs> little fog in the classroom. It's all natural. Or the thing that I, I think pisses me off the most about, you know, just students in general. Is, and, you know, my mom's a teacher at my school. And kids are like blatant assholes to the teacher that might be like the worst thing. Because it's like, yeah. the teachers are there specifically to like help students. And sometimes they don't, which kind of makes them the crappy teachers. Yeah. But um, but the students like, they, some of them get like this idea where it's like, oh, my parents pay taxes, therefore they're paying for the teacher's lifestyle. Yep. yep. And so they're like, I don't have to listen to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna be a, you know, an asshole in that yeah. class. But, I think that might be the worst, but like the teachers aren't too bad except for the ones that don't really do anything. <laughs> um, like I had a teacher for one of my classes a few years ago, and you know I, I liked the teacher as a person. Yeah. Like I felt like yeah. if I was talking to them like outside of school, like we'd probably be like friends. Besides the fact that he's like forty, <laughs> um, he had a good personality, but he's a, the person was a horrible teacher. Yeah. Like and then That's a lot of those. <laughs> like I was like, oh my god, and then, like the next year is like this class built upon itself, so like, you need to like know the, the stuff from that course to go to the next one, and I didn't. <laughs> yep. Um, but luckily I have a good teacher. 
uh, now. There's last year. So, we're getting by. <laughs> Yeah, I think the lack of respect just really bothers me. And especially, like, the freshman class, like, does not seem to know how to handle itself. Oh, and last year there was, like, a whole epidemic of all the sophomores, like, the guys who like, cheating on their girlfriends. And it's like, you're, you're 13th, well, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, somewhere yeah. in there. And it's like, you can't, you don't have the guts enough to say, I don't want to be your significant other anymore. Yeah. Instead of, like, saying that, they just go and, like... <laughs> You know, shut up in you know some you know basement vape. Yeah, because this, you know that these high school relationships are gonna work out. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, PDA in high school is also pretty bad. It's like, oh, and the traffic at school because of the PDA. Like, I'll be walking the hallway, and then the whole entire like like line of traffic will stop because this couple needs to like suck face in the hallway. And especially because. The second they see their significant other, they slow down by like 50%. Yeah. Or there's like, like uh, from the downstairs, like the science hallway and like the C hallway, like when you go up, yeah. There's and like there's a dungeon too, which is yeah. like the, the lowest floor. You know, the kids like there's a, a certain way like the, the it's like it's like traffic. You know? Like you stay in the right lane when you're going yeah. one direction. And then, like, some people, they'll, like, try to cut in that little gap in between yep. the door. <laughs> it's like you're going the complete opposite direction while these people are going this way, and you're going to cut intermittently that way. Yeah. It's absolutely, like, the worst. <laughs> like, there's just, there's been just so many crazy things that have happened. Yeah. Wow. And then all of the weird, like, shelter places or, like, fire drills that we've had. There was a, a main break in the school. Yep. Yep. I remember that because then, because I had signed seminar that last, the night before, and I was like, we, we show up there after Natalie, and then so they're like, oh yeah, uh, there's no signed seminar, there's a main break. And we're like, woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> we're like making stuff like, no school tomorrow. <laughs> And like all the hoaxes and being like, let's put a spoon in the fridge or the freezer <laughs> and wear our pajamas inside out to get a snow day kind of thing. I heard they stopped making lunches. Yeah. Like there are some kids there who like, I mean, it. I love seeing like the super edgy like punk kids yeah. who have like punk isn't dead like on yeah, their yeah, backpacks yeah. and stuff. And, I'm and like, like expo marker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or they write like black veil brides on their arms. <laughs> But, and then there's just some kids who like think that high school is like the biggest issue in the world. Oh yeah, like calm. <laughs> yeah, no, like I go to high school, like I I check in, do my work, check out, go home, and do more homework, and that's kind of my entire life for the past yeah. three and a half, three years. I'm social, but to an extent, yeah. like I don't think that my social life should surround high school, and everyone's like. <laughs> There's so much drama, XYZ's dating this guy, I don't like this person because of that, and it's such a burden. Yeah, and, like, no one cares. <laughs> and what pisses me off is, like, on, like, on social media, they'll be like, I'm cutting friends out of my life. <laughs> no, S you're not. Send me a message if you want to <laughs> be my friend. And it's, like, the absolute worst, and because it's, like, there's no cap on the number of friends that you can have. It's yeah. a finite number. Yeah, it's, like, when people post on their Snapchat stories, it's, like, um... Ending streaks or something like that. <laughs> or it's, like, um, five likes if you hate me. <laughs> like, like, if you hate me. There was one freshman who posted on her Snapchat story, like, hey, guys, I'm... It's Nicole. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna be on any social media between the hours of like five and eight. So if you want to contact me, here's my landline. <laughs> and you can call me after five and eight. And I'm like, you are not a commodity. Like you are not a business that people need to like have business hours for. Like, ugh. <laughs> Call my landline. Yeah, call my landline. You might get my mom, but she'll pass it to me <laughs> too. <laughs> she'll pass the line over. I was like, what? Like, you're really that needy? Yeah, and these kids are like so like dependent on social media. There's a girl in the class that we have together, and she's like, can I go on my phone now? And our teacher's like, are you, do you I'm really like, you need saying? to check it that badly? <laughs> 
Like, that's why I didn't want to get a Snapchat because I don't want to, like, be on Snapchat all the time. Yeah. And, like, that's why I don't have anything else. Yeah. I, I, I have social media, but, like, I'll, you know, go unplug for a little bit where I'll just, like, not, like, I'll delete my social media and I'll just carry my phone just, like, contact yeah. and hit up my landline. <laughs> <laughs> Call her landline. Because, like, it's like so crazy and like all the like we have so much like, that we can access from our phone yeah. it's like when you shut that off then it's like huh there's a world out here you can have yeah. conversations <laughs> you can call my landline <laughs> like i remember the days when i would literally if i wanted to hang out with anyone outside of school i would have to call their home phone and, and be like, like hey is like she home can yeah. i talk to her like that was what I would have to do, but now it's like, like hey, Mr. Smith is a is yeah. little Sally home right now. <laughs> yeah, and that's like I miss having to do that, you know, because like yeah. having a phone all the time is like bothersome. Oh, what I hate is like I have a little cousin, and she, you know, she's like five, but like she has access to a lot of technology. Yeah, and I think my uncle watches the podcast. It's all right, but my little cousin, she's like. Uh, she has like an iPad or the V Tech yeah. tablet, which is like an iPad. She'll like go on there and then like get up like a video of some kid opening up like a present or like an Easter egg thing yeah. so fast. Yeah. And it's like that's what kids are into nowadays. It's yeah. like, you know, they're like, oh, I need to open this. I need to, you know, advertise this. I need to have my whole life documented on YouTube. Yeah, it just makes me sad seeing like you you know like when you go to a restaurant and there's, and there's a family little, like, and there's yeah, yeah there's yeah, yeah. like that five year old in the high chair watching some kid like make a fidget spinner yeah. <laughs> on YouTube and it's like whatever happened to like having to talk to people or like even like just like crayons in a coloring book yeah like I, do you know how many of those friggin' mazes I had to do as a child yes. Yes. Uh, or like when you know when we drive down the road, like I live in like a suburban suburban town, and like I almost never see any kids like out, you know, yeah. tossing a ball around with <laughs> little Susie, you know, riding bikes. Oh my god, I have like scars on my knees and probably on my elbows from falling off my bike and that kind of stuff. These kids aren't gonna experience that. Yeah, and it's like my problem with like all these little kids just like becoming dependent on social media is that like they're not gonna know how to survive yeah like cope in yeah. high school and stuff like someone's gonna try to talk to them and they're gonna be like what like they're not gonna know how to deal or they all have like ADD really bad yeah. vision yeah. and selective hearing <laughs> <laughs> like I have a friend and I'll be like uh, Sally using Sally as a name and then be like can you go do this and then like three minutes later what yeah Ugh. it's just so bad like it makes it just makes me sad or it's like I was talking to someone and I'm like can you carry this I'm holding like a heavy thing and then she's like no I gotta set my streaks first <laughs> picture of a table yeah like I hate streaks on snapchat more than anything Ugh. like do not text me if you don't have something you want to say to me <laughs> like, yeah like, don't just say streaks. Like, I don't care. I think it's funny when they spell it wrong because like, they're doing it fast and they like stinks. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I gotta send my Snapchat steak. It's just too much. Like, social media is too yeah. much. Like, the government knows enough about me. I don't need to be posting my life. I have a little piece of tape on my camera right I now. I need to get one of those. <laughs> Some piece of washi tape. I know, I need to get it. Alright, I'll hook you up. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, we're gonna take a quick break and then we'll be back after no messages because nobody wants to sponsor my podcast. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back and we have a fun game set up. Doug, that was rude. Anyways, if I don't know if any of you have ever played the game Nuclear Winter, but it's like a game where it's you're stuck in a bomb shelter, you have, and then we have a, a cup with a bunch of professions, we have a cup that has a bunch of really interesting characteristics. And so you could have like, I don't know, a, a school teacher that sings a bunch of songs frequently, or tries to run outside, or clips toenails, or like something like out of the blue and crazy, and then you have to pick like five, so like we have ten, I think we have ten in there, uh, and then those uh, we're gonna have to reduce that to, ten, to, to five people. So to pick like, 
thought he was gonna hit his head. He's like the best, the best of them all. All right, so here is the person. I'm just gonna tip the names over because I'm not gonna put my hand in there. Let's <laughs> get in the general vicinity. All right, can we put them on, on the side? Should we go move the almonds? And the mason jars too. You can keep those there. Lay them out here. Alrighty. So we have the professions here and we have the characteristics here. So you pick the first profession. A farmer. Who is allergic to air. <laughs> that must be a tough farm. Alright, I'll pick one of these. You can pick one of these. I have a contortionist. Who is a culinary expert. <laughs> Hey, they, they know their way around a kitchen. Alright, pick your... Um, a lawyer. <laughs> who cries himself to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we pre-made the characteristics just for time sense. <laughs> a chemistry teacher. <laughs> who sings Moana over and over. <laughs> Sounds like our chemistry yeah. teacher. <laughs> okay, ah! I'm sorry. Um... Okay, I got a scuba diver, a skydiver, who is sleepy. <laughs> it's like they're uh, falling asleep. A clown <laughs> who clips his toenails. We're gonna need that in the bomb shelter. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think we're, we had, yeah, we had one extra. Okay, well, a doctor. Who chews really loudly. Ooh. That's such a good one. Um, <laughs> a SoundCloud rapper. It's also a prankster. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay. Uh, yeah. A botanist. Who's also the survivalist. Okay, that, that's pretty decent. That's a good combo. Alright, well, we have two extra, I guess. Um,. So, the two characteristics that we sadly didn't have in our <laughs> bunker were was someone who tries to run outside frequently and someone who only speaks in pig Latin. Okay. That's a shame. Yeah. I really want someone to try to kill us all <laughs> with, with nuclear chemicals. Okay. Alright, well, um... Let's go with some, uh, some obvious people who we should keep in the bunker. The botanist who's also survivalist. I yes. feel like that's a that's a win. I mean, we might need the SoundCloud rapper who's also a prankster for like morality's sake. We'll we'll keep him on a on a maybe. <laughs> Such a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just blew all of the papers over by breathing. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. Okay, we got them kind of together. Yeah, they're fine. All right. Just don't <laughs> breathe anymore, please. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, Alright, we have a doctor who chews really loudly, a clown who clips her toenails, a sleepy skydiver, a chemistry who sings, a chemistry teacher who sings Moana a lot. Just one chemistry. A chemistry, yep. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm gonna put little paperweights on these, it's fine. No, you did it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of all these just so. I think we should keep the doctor who chews really loudly because we're gonna get a doctor who chews really loudly. We'll keep him, yeah, like mid maybe. Um, I think the cloud, the clown who clips toenails. I feel like that, you know. I think that between the like the soundcloud app, our, our source of entertainment is you know 50-50. But so, maybe the doctor doesn't like like clowns. Like, some people don't like clowns, you know. But a lot of people don't like SoundCloud rappers. Hey, what are you saying about any name that starts with a uh, the, the word Lil? <laughs> like Lil Pump or Lil Peep or Lil Poop, I don't know. Is that your SoundCloud rapper name? Yeah. Lil Poop. <laughs> my, you call me Lil Poop, my dad's Big Poop. <laughs> like Harley Quinn, like Daddy's Little Monster, Daddy's Little Poop. <laughs> Um, I feel like the contortionist, who's also a culinary expert, could that be useful. Yeah, because we're gonna need someone who's gonna be able to, like, turn those granola bars into fettuccine fucking alfredo. 
<laughs> yeah, because that's gonna happen. Yep. You can't even make Alfredo. <sighs> Respiratory system relies on carbon dioxide. Oh, you weren't there for that day. What? Uh, I think that we really need that SoundCloud rapper who's also a prankster. Looks <laughs> like a prize. I, I burned all of the food. Pranks. <laughs> you know, I feel like I I set off a nuke again. <laughs> 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 In the bomb shelter. <laughs> Guys, I cut off all the oxygen. Get pranked. <laughs> you only have 48 hours to live. I think that's it. That's a yes. He's a must. <laughs> He's a must. Not a not a want. A need. Alright, well, hold on. I think we have <laughs> No we have ten. Okay. No, we don't. We, we have, have nine. nine. Oh, fine. We'll do we'll do this. Uh, yeah, let's do fine. Okay, that makes it easier for us. Alright, um, out of all of these, I think the farmer and the botanist won't mix well because, like, they kind of do the same thing because yeah. he's smarter and he just grew up with pigs. So, you know, farmer, you're cut off. Chopped. Um, I don't think we'll need a skydiver. I don't think we really need a lawyer either because no. it's like... You don't know if the bomb went off. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> so, we're between a chemistry teacher and a clown. I think the chemistry teacher would be useful. Wouldn't the clown be funny? We already have a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> but what if they team up together? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> ICP? <laughs> Insane clown. That's literally what it is. Two SoundCloud rappers dressed as clowns. Oh yeah, no, but like, you know, the clown and the, and the prankster together. It's like, haha, your oxygen's been cut off, and you hear like the little like tricycle yeah. horn. But what if we need to like create oxygen? We need, we need a chemistry teacher. No. <laughs> Accidentally like blows us all up. Yeah, but we we might need a chemistry teacher. Hmm, that's true. All right, well, but you know, do we really want someone singing Moana over and over again? I mean, we do already have a SoundCloud rapper who's singing their- But they can make song. a remix. A remix of Moana. Alright, well I think it's settled. I think the chemistry teacher is the way to go because I don't want a clown that clips their toenails around. That's fine. They would just, like, they would have nowhere to go. They would just, just be, like, the stomping on them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. So, our final lineup, lineup is, <clears throat> without further ado, a doctor who chews very loudly, a botanist who's also a survivalist, a SoundCloud rapper that's a, also a prankster, but doesn't have a YouTube channel, just pranks. Just pranks, like, for no views. Exactly. Not sponsored. God is his only viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything for God. Yeah, uh, a contortionist who is a culinary expert, um, knows our way around the kitchen, and then finally, a chemistry teacher who sings Moana over and over again. I think they could team up with the SoundCloud rapper and create a pretty good remix. Yeah, but you know, maybe the doctor has some, you know, hidden musical talents. You know, those Asian stereotypes where you'd be like, damn good at music and be a doctor. Yeah. Just have an orchestra in, you know, the back room. Yeah, just casually. All right, well, those, you know, boom, pranks are actually killed us all. Do you have any uh, final notes? on anything any more comments about our, the great public school system <laughs> all right so we lost part of the podcast because of technological difficulties so because of that thank you all for listening to this thank you to colette for joining me and thank you again for being the first official guest on my podcast and tune in the next couple of weeks because there should be another episode coming with other people but that said, thank you all for listening, and yeah, have a good one.